What's up everyone? This is my 2006 Honda CRV. This is an EX model, so it has a sunroof. And I've done a couple things to this exterior. That's why it looks a little bit different, but I did mostly factory add-ons aside from this Weston bull bar. This is a very clean CRV that I just recently picked up about a month ago. And this is my new daily driver. It's a blast to drive. I love this vehicle so much. And I guess I'll go into a little bit more details of this vehicle. So just stay tuned in this video and let's get into it so like i said this is my 2006 honda crv it's ex comes in this uh, silvery gray model which actually looks pretty nice for a silver it has um i done a couple things to it i added the factory uh side steps they call it running boards i believe this was pretty hard to find i was lucky to find it i picked that up and i don't know it just adds a little bit extra to the vehicle it looks very nice Another thing I added is the OEM top uh, visor right here. This is hard to fine tune and this just gives it a little aesthetic for me. Um, next thing I did was the front western bull bar. I wanted to add some uh, LED pods on there. That's the reason why I installed it, but also I guess it looks a little bit cool too. Adds a little cool factor. Can't wait to get that going once I get those LED pods in. I also added uh, these fog lights. I couldn't find the OEM or uh, what's uh, I can't remember that brand, but yeah, I couldn't find like OEM kit for that. So I just ended up going with eBay and just added on my own uh, VLED uh, fog lights. The headlights I also upgraded to LED VLEDs, of course. Um, yeah, it's, it's uh, for me, it's a definite buy for all my vehicles. I love it so much. Um, I bought this vehicle from Missouri. <laughs> So I guess you can just ignore that. I'm in California. So this is really hard to find. This is a 2006 and it's a five speed manual transmission, which was very difficult to find in this condition. And uh, what was I gonna say? With no rust, that was the biggest, hardest thing to do. Find one that's low miles. This has 126,000 miles, I believe, or 20, maybe 127,000 miles. I've been driving this a lot. And it's, you know, a stick shift with no rust or just maybe a tiny bit, but you know, you can't have it all. But this is a perfect example. And for the, you could tell this this vehicle is well kept because it, you can see like the black, uh, the black trim wasn't too uh, faded. I think this was garage kept pretty much its whole life, which is why I was so freaking lucky to find it and purchase it. I also added a solution finish. It was already in really good condition. Like it was a little bit of fading. So I just added solution finish to it. If you don't know what that is, you can check them out on uh, Google. So basically it restores the black trim and makes them look pretty damn good for maybe a year or two, depending on how well you keep this vehicle clean or where it's garaged or not. Uh, a lot of high-end de detailers use it. Um, I'm a part-time detailer on the side myself. So I highly recommend that. So let's go back in the inside and explain the inside. So five-speed manual transmission, very smooth, very fun. Start with the steering wheel. Steering wheel is, I love the steering wheel. It's perfect size to me. Not too uh, thick. I don't like thick steering wheels. I don't like it too big or too small. It's perfect to me. Has your, you know, volume control and all that stuff. Your uh, cruise control right here. You push the button and uh, use this. And I don't use cruise control. I don't like it. So, but you know what? They have it. it. Has your VSA off and on. Your moonroof controls right there. Your moonroof up here. I'll go show that later. Your uh, what's it called? Here's your um, so, uh, your visors. They don't have the lights, but you know it's a 2006 model, so you can't really explain. You can't really ex expect it to have it, but it's well kept. You can tell. This is where you keep your sunglasses. I have mine's right there. These lights don't turn on when you open the door, which kind of sucks. Which is uh, why I recommend upgrading to LEDs because. It's really hard to see in this vehicle with just that backlight right there. That's one, one of the cons I have for this vehicle. Um, I upgraded these to LEDs too, very bright. I also did Broadway mirror so you can see better in the back. I also did the blind spot mirrors on the sides to help you see um, help you see better. Because I daily, daily drive this in, uh, in a city, so it's nice, you know, seeing on the road. Let's go to the side door panels. I really, this is another con I hate about this vehicle is that the, 
these door hinges are so freaking small. It's like, I don't know, it just doesn't fit this vehicle. I wish they made it a little bit bigger. Not necessarily a con, but you know, um, when you're at nighttime and I have like people trying to like, you know, like I say buy and stuff and they try to open the door on the other side, they couldn't find it. Cause it's, I don't know, it's so small and weird and it's not lit up. But uh, yeah, this is a door unlock and lock button. Your mirror controls, your child proof lock, your control on the four mirrors or four windows, sorry. This thing actually lights up auto. I believe this lights up mirror, but I wish they made these light up too because you can't really see them at night. So you're just gonna like muscle memory it. Your little your speakers, your um, side cubby. This knife cubby right here. I made the mistake where I just dropped something in here. It just fell to the bottom. I'm like, damn. <laughs> but yeah, here's your little cubby, basic stuff. Um, a little another little cubby right here that you could just put. I don't know what you'd put there, but it's there. Your uh, your rear trunk uh, glass pop-up hatch, whatever. You got your uh, gas gas cap right there to pop the hood. Oh, you have another freaking cubby right here. I didn't even know. <laughs> uh, yeah, you just put something there. Uh, OEM radio. Um, this is just my Mickey Mouse Bluetooth. It works. First thing I did when I bought this vehicle, I really researched that I need to buy cassette tape to MP3 and MP3 to Bluetooth. This is just like a cheap way to get Bluetooth radio, uh, Bluetooth or MP3 or your, your uh, music without going, you know, over the board. This price cost me like 45, 50 bucks. I do plan to get a head unit, but that's gonna cost a lot. Well, I want a nice one. So I just told myself I'll just do this for now and down the road I'll upgrade all this, upgrade the speakers and you know, Take my time on that. It's gonna cost a lot of money. My hazard button, your uh, ready, your controls. You can tell it's in fantastic condition for its age. And I'll demonstrate this when I turn on the vehicle later. And this is just I don't know. You just put random stuff here. This is from the previous owner. I guess he stored his uh, gas receipts here. Forgot to clean it. Right here is a little cubby again. I just put my tree frog black squash. It smells so good. I just put it right here. It fits perfectly. Your another little, uh, I don't know, storage space right here. I don't know what you would put. Uh, it has this little mat. I don't know if this is OEM or not. It came with the vehicle. I just put my other air freshener that's orange. And the reason why I put I put this because um, when you turn on the lights, the inside, all these lights are orange. So it's just a little aesthetics that make this vehicle or just goes with the vehicle in my opinion. Your standard uh, glove box. I just put my stuff here for now. And the other side, the same thing. Nothing really much to say. I put um, um, all season floor mats. Um, got your oh shit handlebars, or I don't know what you want to call these. <laughs> Basic stuff. Just go to the center, uh, center console right here. So these glove, these uh, cup holders are probably the biggest complaint of this vehicle too. They don't really hold well. But there's someone at Etsy that makes like a little. Um, they made something to make it like uh, be able to hold the, the cups better, which is nice. And this is just like, I don't know, not really good storage right here, but it does hold your phone. Like when you're driving and shit, it doesn't really uh, move. So um, I guess it's a little bit functional. This does fold down with this little uh, um, this little button right here, or not button, but a little thing. Just push it and it folds down. Keep my little sunroof, sun visor, and <coughs> steering wheel lock under, and yeah. This is your cigarette lighter where I just put my um, cord for charging and then to power my Bluetooth thing. Simple stuff. Um, let's go to the back. Back is pretty simple. Same thing with the back right here. Um, same with the doors. It has a little storage right here. I just keep my uh, window cleaner right there. The back right here has the center armrest with two more cup holders um, uh, basic stuff little cubby right here to store some random stuff other side same thing there's your center light upgrade to leds please to make it brighter so people can see all season floor mats in the back too and yeah let's get to the trunk this is my trunk yeah it has some paperwork right there yeah ignore that a little storage space right here I don't know where you store here but yeah it's here this 
is another thing I picked up OEM uh, cargo cover. Very nice. Zips forward. It's my little uh, cleaning supply stuff. Another just like blankets and jackets and random stuff I would need for work or whatever. Let me take this out. But yeah, there's your space. And it's a lot of space. That's why I love this vehicle. I go fishing frequently, so having all this extra space helps a lot. Um, here's your little uh, jack stand and all the little accessories. And this is very simple to take off. I'm gonna take it off right now so I can demonstrate um, the folding down the seats and everything. So let's, uh, oh, there you go. Pop this up, pull it off, very easy. And then right here, you just kind of like push it and lift up and it comes off just like that. Very simple. That's why I love this car. It's very practical, a lot of space. And yeah, it's a lot of space right here. Let's, uh, I guess I can demonstrate from here. You just push this and it can go backwards or forward. So that folds down, push up a button. This can go all the way back here or just go all the way down. Push up a button and let me go to the front so I can demonstrate how it folds down or folds up. So these seats, you can just, I think, what was the button? Oh, right here. It's so right here, there's a little uh, latch right here, or the little uh, cord, pull it, and easily just folds just like that. And the other side, the same way. I guess I can show it from here. Right here, pull it, and it just folds just like that. And there you go. There's all your storage needs if you need it uh, very quickly. And this is just my, weather tech all seasons that I just added on. That's why you can really see it. Let me take it off. There's all your storage space. Yeah, I need to vacuum this. <laughs> Didn't get to it in time. Oh. That's for... So, this is where the infamous table is. This is a table for um, whatever you want to use it for. This is what first gen CRV and second gen CRVs have cool little table pull it out oh. yeah it's a cool little table it's probably been used a couple times which is still fantastic your uh, trailer trailer lights right there and this is their little makeshift uh i think they call this like a little uh like a ice chest where it's like you know like a little rubber seal right here and then you can just put some ice in here and just chill and then you could just like lift this up. You just unhook all this stuff and lift it up and you can empty it out. It's a little Mickey Mouse ice chest. Oh well, yeah, very cool to have. And yeah, that's very fantastic. Here's your little tie downs when you, you know, want to transport something. Cool, cool stuff, cool stuff. This vehicle is very awesome, very cool. Yeah. Let's put this all back. Hmm, what else am I missing? Nothing else really. And this is the back, the little tow hitch right here. And the little shocks. The shocks, you know, probably go bad pretty quick if you depending on how much you use it. Let's uh demonstrate the trunk right here. So remember how I said there's that latch to, to pop the butt to pop the window right here? This is it. So push this button right here. It unlatches this. This can go up and down just like that. So people use this to ex um, to transport heavier, longer stuff out the window. Yeah, <laughs> pretty cool stuff. They actually discontinued it after the second gen, so it's a little bit weird why they did that. But I know a lot of people miss this. I actually enjoy it, even though I never used it. But it's just something nice to have. And to close it, it's a little bit sketchy because, I don't know, for me it's a little weird because you're just closing on glass, but you just kind of close it like that. And I go kind of like soft because it's so weird like closing on glass, you feel like you might break it. But yeah, there's a control right here to um, rear windshield uh, fluid, your rear windshield wipers, spare tires right here. This is actually off the special edition, which actually this thing actually buns pretty well with this vehicle. I love it. And again, big CRV logo on the badge. Your latch right here, real-time all-wheel drive, 
which means this front front wheel drive until it loses control then the rear wheels will kick in and it's pretty awesome and I guess uh, pretty much it with this vehicle I haven't added a roof rack yet maybe down the road I'll probably add some roof rack or something um, let me add all this stuff in and let's go for a drive I'm gonna fold back down the seats very simple just clip it down that's it locks in locks in and I don't know what this is for <laughs> to be honest let's go back to the button and lift it up Very easy to do. The kid can do it. I'm very OCD about making it like same height. <laughs> I don't know why. Is this something I need to do? I was like, wait. Come on. Okay. Well, it's good enough, I guess. Damn, what the hell? Okay, I guess that's flush right there, so it's just me tripping out. Let's put everything back in. And to install the cargo cover, it's pretty simple. Just put it back in. And one side just kind of push it in and it'll clip right in. And then lift up these insert them back here and I just like to cover it back up I don't know why it's just me I was lucky to find a local C CRV owner that wanted to get rid of this so I was uh, blessed and just clip it back in fantastic now let's put back all this stuff And there you have it. Because let's demonstrate the inside electrical stuff and all that stuff. Starts up fine. Hmm, what should I show? Oh yeah, moonroof. First button. Lifts it up. You can do that all the way. So the moonroof is cool. Simple controls. Also a button to uh, lift it up. This is pretty cool. Three buttons. Very cool. AC. Works. Basic stuff. Um, radio works. Christmas time. <laughs> um, what else? Pretty much it. Let's go for a drive. Have some fun. In this 2600 CRV, let me see the mileage on this thing. Oh, 127,000 miles. Well, I drove a lot. <laughs> I love driving this car. Very easy to drive. Stop. Clutch on this thing is fantastic. Uh, I just love driving stick shift. I have three stick shift cars, and this thing never lasts. You know, Honda knows how to make a perfect uh, shifter. This thing shifts smooth, drives smooth. It just feels fantastic. smooth that's why I love stick shift it's fun to drive if uh, you buy one the stick and the manual transmission is a little bit like uh, 
it feels like second gear is kind of hard to like uh, to shift it smooth and this change your manual transmission fluid and that fixed it. I noticed a couple of people that drove stick shift for this vehicle didn't know that and they, they didn't change that fluid and once they did it made a night and day difference. This thing drives fantastic. It's, it's so fun to drive this vehicle. That's why if you ever find one in good condition just hold on to it because a lot of the people that own this vehicle um, they hold on to it. It's already rare enough to find a second gen. I'm pretty sure a first gen is just as fun too. But a second gen is, uh, in my opinion, better. But I know the first gen is more popular. Uh, I love it. I just love driving this car. <laughs> I put like 1,500 miles, or I don't even know how much miles I put in this vehicle, but I put a lot. Let's open this vehicle up. slow but uh nevertheless fun to drive look at that anyway this has a k20 160 horsepower uh 160 torque i believe oh i didn't even pop the hood let me go back and i'll pop the hood and everything and show you that hmm yeah <laughs> that's why i forgot Alrighty. But yeah this vehicle is a fantastic daily driver or commuter or just to make it off-road a lot of people do that they do the lift kit and all that stuff but uh, I don't know if I'm gonna lift it I drive commute I commute this thing 70 miles round trip a day so I don't know if I want to do that I love this vehicle a lot and I want to keep it like OEM decent handling uh, cornering it's already maybe high I don't know maybe do a one inch lift kit I don't know we'll see we'll see how I feel maybe down the road, I do want to put like uh, better tires, bigger, uh, not bigger wheels, I guess like a little bit like uh, more aggressive wheels, but uh, just keep it uh, very stock because then I don't want to kill the gas mileage too. This thing gets about 26 miles per gallon for the way I drive, which is not bad at all for this little SUV, a little four banger SUV. It's a fun vehicle, has a lot of space, storage space, fun to drive preppy somewhere you could take up in the mountains and have a little bit of fun enjoy it's honda's last stick shift us suv that they sell in north america sadly hmm nothing else to say about this vehicle this is all positive things i'm happy i have this vehicle i found it in stick shift it took me like three months to find one and I was looking every day refreshing seven different pages like five times a day just to try and find it very annoying but I paid off I actually found this on it was a private seller he didn't even post it for sale but he saw my ad on the on the Facebook group and he's like oh you know I have one do you want to you want to take a look at it and he wasn't even too far and I hopped on it immediately. I was like, yes, I'll stop by um, the weekend. And that's how it went by. Took my master Honda Master Tech friend, checked out this vehicle, and that was a done deal. Let's uh, pop the hood. Quiet engine. 2.4 liter, 4 cylinder, 5 speed manual transmission, 160 horsepower ish, 160 torque. Your intake box, I put a Cayman filter in there. Very clean engine bay for the Sage. I was lucky to find it. Yeah, it runs fantastic. I guess one thing you can look out for when you're buying these uh, second gen CRVs is the AC issue. Make sure the AC works or make sure the AC has been replaced. The full system. Because uh, that's the biggest concern about this vehicle is the Black Death. I'm pretty sure you can just search on the web if you want to learn more information about that. That's pretty much the most expensive issue with this car. So that's probably the only thing you should avoid. Other than that, this vehicle is fantastic. Runs great. Really fun to drive. It's preppy. Stick shift. It's hard to find, but if you find one, hold on to it for dear life. And yeah, that's about it.
I hope you enjoy my video. I know I kind of suck at doing this type of thing, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know if you guys want to see more videos of this. And yeah, catch you guys later.